What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. I'm actually gonna do another Q&A. Uh, I know. But I just wanted to drop something real quick. Like, cause it's really been about a month or longer since I since my last video. So, I'm just gonna do a Q&A just to give y'all something. Cause I don't want y'all to think I forgot about y'all. And I did get some food, of course. You know how I get down. And they didn't give me no freaking for it. I'm pissed. Pissed! Sure. I'll eat with my hands. Really. I gets down like that. But, um, how have y'all been? I've been good. I just had a birthday, June 12th. So now I'm 20. My last video was 19. What else is different? A new tattoo. But life's been the same. So I'm just gonna get into the questions because why not? First question is, am I single, single? <clears throat> I don't know if I'm single, single, but I'm single. Like, I'm single, but I talked to somebody, shit, and I like somebody. So I'm really not single, single, but I'm single. Mm. I got my old phone. This shit is so old. One camera. It says, could I <clears throat> duck off with a man with a nine to five or does he have to be rich with a lot of followers? Mm. He doesn't have to be rich, but he definitely has to have money because I have money and I need somebody that's like getting it, like getting to it, like I'm getting to it. I don't care if it's more or less, but you just got to be like a hustler, basically. And followers, I don't give a fuck if you had no social media at all i would actually rather my man not be known like i don't like men that are all up on social media tiktok all of that i really prefer the ones that's off of that shit and yeah a man can have a nine to five too you can have a nine to five and be a hustler as long as you work and don't try to leech off of women but i don't like bums yeah, it ain't nothing wrong with having a nine to five. Yeah, you work, you work. You get it how you get it. Who am I to judge? I gotta eat with my hands because they didn't give me no fork. I ain't got no problem. What's my next question? I really missed y'all though. It's like, I'm not really creative right now. That's why I'm doing another Q&A. So when I think of a good video, I'll give it to y'all. But I just wanted to give y'all something instead of nothing, if that makes sense. Next question is, how old am I? I just told y'all I just turned 20, June 12th. Yeah, birthday was lit. What do I like to do in my free time? In my free time, I really just like to be by myself. I like to eat. I like to sleep. I don't really just know. I just like to be by myself. Sit in my car. Or I like to swim. I like to... I don't know. I just like to chill. I like to be with my folks.
three places I want to travel. I want to travel to the Bahamas, Jamaica, and Mexico. Simple. It says, what type of man gets my interest? To be honest, I'm a very honest person, so let me be real with y'all. Probably the wrong ones. <clears throat> I tend to be attracted to people that I know are not really like people I should be talking to. Like they either like they're always in some type of trouble or, you know, but I'm not trying to make myself sound bad. So if I was, I like funny, I like funny people, funny men, um, good looking, tattoos, I love tattoos. Um, I like affectionate, like I like somebody that's lovey-dovey but that's not what attracts me because you're not gonna know somebody like that until you're already attracted to them so what attracts me off the rip tattoos i wouldn't say height but looks and the way you dress <laughs> If you can't dress, I'm, it's like almost... Mm -mm. Like, I feel like as a man, you gotta know how to dress. Us women, we get away with stuff like jumpsuits and, you know, just like rompers, dresses. Like, yeah, you can really put that shit on, but you can also just put on a romper, a dress. It's something simple, you know? But men, they got to kind of know how to dress. And their clothes, I feel like they're more expensive. It says, what is my next step in life? My next step in life, um, <clears throat> I need to go ahead and get a new job. Um, that's my next step. So if y'all didn't know, I went to esthetician school. So I need to really go take my test. Try to do something with that. I don't know. It's different ways that I want to make money, though. Like, I do want to do that. But I also just want to do a little shit on the side. Like, me and my friend thinking about selling hookahs and stuff. Just doing stuff to make money. Like I'm saying, like, if you're a hustler, there's so many ways to make money. So it's just different stuff I want to do. I don't really know yet. I just turned 20 here. But um, I kind of, my next big, big step, I don't want to have a kid. No, scratch that. I shouldn't even have said this shit. But I do want to have a kid before. The reason why I said that is because I want to have a kid before I'm 23 or 24. But I don't want just like, you know... I do, I do want a husband, I guess. I don't know. I just don't really see myself with, like, nobody for real. But I do want a kid, though. So, I don't know. Shit, I need a sperm donor or something. But, no. I guess that's kind of, like, a big step. Next subject. What's my longest relationship? Um, hmm. I think my longest relationship was like two years. I don't know. It just, they don't really last that long for me. But I think it's really because I be, like, I be in the talking phase for so long. And then when I start dating, my relationships only last like one to two years. I've been in two relationships. So, 
Somebody, damn. Somebody said, do I fall in love fast? Hmm. I fall in love too fast. Like, if I catch that vibe with you, bruh. If I catch that vibe with you, like if I tell you I like you, if I tell you I like you, I really, really like you. I really, really like you. Like right now, this is one dude, and I ain't gonna lie, I think I probably started liking him like the second time I hung out with him. Like I really was on that, I was stuck on him that fast. Mm -hmm. It's just because Like, I know when it's somebody and me, like, click. Like, if it's just easy for me to be around you and, like, I'm happy. Like, I don't know. If we just click, we just click. It's hard for me to explain. I fall in love super fast. But also, once I get played with a little bit, like, I fall out of love really fast, too. So, yeah. I do. Mm. It says, do I think the exes can be friends? <laughs> no. I say no because it's too much history. How can you be friends with somebody that, you know, no. I just don't think that you can be friends with your ex. Now, you can be cordial. Y'all could be cool-ish. Y'all might not have no issues, but as far as friends, friends is crazy. No, I'm not friends with none of my exes. Half of them, I don't. Well, I only got two exes, but it is people I talked to that was, like, damn near my boyfriend. Excuse me. And I'm not friends with them neither, because, bitch... No. It's like nine times out of ten, y'all don't really just end too good. Or if y'all do, like, I got one ex that we ended pretty cool. And, like, he would randomly call me sometimes. And I'll answer and I'll be like, because he'll call me from random numbers, really. He's cool. But we're not friends, boo. Like, we're not hanging out. You're not coming to my house and... No. And then you gotta think about it like this. If you go with somebody, would you want them to be friends with their ex? Fuck no. This is not that booky. So no, I don't think you could be friends with an ex because y'all got too much history. To make a long story short. Too much done happen between y'all. That's just it's some things that you can't go back on. You know? can't go from doing this and this to trying to be friends. Come on now. And that was really all my questions. I want to give a shout out to my brother's wife, which makes her my sister-in-law, right? Shout out to her. Go follow her. Like, comment, subscribe on her videos. Whatever, whatever. I'm going to put it in the link in the bio. Shout out to my best friend, Sarah McKenzie. I'm going to put her shit in the bio, too. I mean, description. And then, shout out to my brother, too. They edit most of my videos, too. Because I've had other videos that I have not dropped, y'all. Because of the quality, I still have yet to get a camera. Soon as I get my camera though, I'm giving y'all straight good shit. Cause it's so many good vlogs that I could have done. That I could have done. Oh my gosh. I've been to so many pool parties. And I've been outside really. Like I had good footage for y'all. Speaking of, I just had somebody text my phone crazy last night because I have been to like most of the pool parties. I don't give a fuck. Let me tell you that much. I don't understand how y'all think making, I'm sorry, I got distracted. 
I don't understand how y'all think that a girl going to the pool parties, I've been to like four pool parties, four pool parties, and it's really only been about five or six, maybe seven or eight. And I've been to most of them. Bitch, I'm outside. It ain't shit else to do. What y'all think? I'm finna miss out on the pool parties? I, first of all, I love pools. Second of all, I love parties. So what makes you think I'm not there? Baby, I'm there and I'm outside. But like, I just be chilling at parties too. That's my thing about it. Like, people be like, oh, she, not just me, but like, I be seeing posts. Like, they be like, oh, so and so, woo the woo girls at every pool party. Bitch. Who gives a fuck? Why does it matter? It's a pool party. You know what I'm saying? It's not that deep. But. It depends who you are. Because I feel like if I wasn't me, people wouldn't give a fuck. Sexy Red say, I'm the shit little bitch, I'm that. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I probably sound so delusional, but for real though, like, <clears throat> if it was somebody that, like, just ugly, just if it was somebody ugly, let's just be real. They wouldn't have no problem with her being at every pool party, which it don't even be, it don't, I don't know who it is. Somebody texted me from the text now numbers saying some crazy shit, but. Okay. What else I want to talk about with y'all? Mm. My love life. Mm. I love you. <clears throat> Don't have one. Like, if I could, I would. It'd be like, I be messing with people that don't fuck with me as heavy as I fuck with them. And that's so weird because it's like, I know I can have, I can have a boyfriend. But my problem is, I want to take somebody that don't like relationships, talk to them, and try to make them want a relationship with me. So it's like, I don't want the ones that want me. And I ain't gonna lie, that's how my last relationship was too. And y'all might say it don't work, but it really does work. I've literally made a dude that does not take nobody serious, take me serious. And then it's like, I don't know. I think it's like a, a challenge, maybe. Mm. It works though. You just got to be consistent. But one thing about me, I'm so patient. So, like, if I want you and I like you, I know exactly how to get you. It's just going to take me time because of the type of dudes I try to talk to. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? You can do what you put your mind to. That's how I feel about it. Because I've done it every time. <clears throat> I don't know if I can get this one, though. We'll see. I'll let y'all know. Cause he he's a tough one. I damn near have almost stopped talking his ass, but I just can't do it. Cause like I said, once I like somebody, I just like them. Feel me? Mhm. I also don't feel like Memphis is a good place to be dating. Everybody got a fucking baby mama. Ooh. That's one of them um, money trucks going towards the wrong direction. But, um, yeah, Memphis is just too small. I feel like a lot of people have already had somebody that somebody else has had or everybody has some type of crazy ass baby mama like the girls out here are loony like they're just crazy about their baby daddies i don't know why i feel like if i had a baby daddy and i get it because it's a lot of history or like 
you wanted a family with that person and stuff. But me personally, like, if the shit wasn't working out, I don't care. Like, I would care, but, like, I'm not finna force nothing. I don't care if it's a kid involved or not. Like, I know you're gonna try harder just because y'all have a kid involved. And it's like, everybody wants a family deep down inside. They don't want just a baby daddy and a kid. But I also would not be forcing shit. <clears throat> but, and I can 100% say that because I know myself. I'm like that with a lot of shit that people are like, I don't force nothing. I might try a little bit. I might jog a little bit, but I'm not running, bitch. I'm not running after you. You feel me? But yeah. I need to wrap up this video. And no, I did not finish my food because I'm full. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> Turn on my notifications so you know when I post. And get this video. The view is higher than the last one. And I'll think about giving y'all some better stuff. How about it? See y'all later.